Hi, I'm Jason Delabru, Director of Product Management for Rosemont Liquid Analysis at Emerson. And I'm here to talk about calibrating your pH sensors. pH sensors are absolutely critical to most process applications. They also happen to be one of the most difficult types of liquid sensors to use and maintain. What I often hear from users is that it's not easy to maintain accurate pH measurement over time, and they tend to lose confidence in that measurement. So in order to maintain the accuracy, it's really, really important to do periodic calibrations of your pH sensors. Now, why is that? The output signal of a pH sensor is measured in millivolts, and that means that a certain millivolt reading corresponds to a particular pH value of the process. The two are linearly correlated. Over time, the slope and the offset of the calibration curve change as the sensor glass electrode ages in the process. Periodic calibration corrects for this aging effect. Now, many pH users make the mistake of relying on single point calibrations. And in certain situations, say, for example, if you have redundant sensors or a process with a very stable pH, a single point calibration can work. But single point calibrations only give the offset and not the slope of the output line, which reduces the accuracy. That's why in most situations, I recommend a two point calibration using both pH four and pH seven buffer solutions. This helps show both the slope and the offset of that output relationship and increases the accuracy of your measurement. Periodic calibrations also give you a great indication of remaining sensor life. The typical offset of a new sensor at a neutral seven pH is around plus or minus 20 millivolts. Now that offset will tend to grow over time as the sensor degrades in the process. A plus or minus 60 millivolt offset, for example, uh, might indicate that it's probably time for a new sensor. Bottom line, periodic calibration is the single best way to understand the health of your pH sensor and to maintain the accuracy of your measurement. And that makes a real difference in the quality of your process.